in this video we are going to continue with the spheres now our question is that a cylindrical vessel 60 cm in diameter is partially filled with water all right we have a cylindrical vessel which is partially filled with water okay then a sphere of diameter 36 cm is dropped into it and is fully submerged in water okay so there is a sphere which is fully submerged in water here uh, find the increase in the level of water in the vessel so when you will drop this sphere inside this cylinder the water level will increase right that water level you have to find so a cylindrical vessel 60 centimeters in diameter so what will be the radius of this 30 centimeters a sphere of diameter 36 so what will be the radius of the sphere that is 18 centimeters right now how do we find the level of the increase in the level of the water so increase in the level of the water will be equal to the volume of this sphere right because when the volume is sub, uh, I mean dropped inside this the water level will increase and that water level will be equal to the volume of this sphere. So it is very simple for us to understand. So we will write volume of water increased inside the cylinder will be equal to the volume of the sphere right. So since the water is in the cylindrical vessel, it will take the shape of the cylinder. So volume will be pi r square and h. Now this h will be the increased height. Increase in the, when this is dropped inside this, the increased height of water will be this h. This is equal to volume of sphere. What is the volume of sphere? 4 by 3 pi and r cube. So pi and pi will go, okay, h we don't have, so r we have 30 into 30 into h equal to 4, this 3 we can send here, into r we have 18 into 18 into 18, 318s, right. So our h will be 4 into 18 into 18 into 18 divided by 3 into 30 into 30. Fine. So 3, 6, 6, 5. 6, 3, 6, 5. Okay. Anything else? Now we have height as. 4 into 3 into 18 upon 25. So, 4 threes are 12 into 18 divided by 25. So, 12 into 18 is 8 to the 16, 9, 2, 1, 6, 1, 2. So, 216 upon 25 which is equal to 8.64 centimeters. So, because of this sphere, the height inside this height of the water level will raise up to 8.64 centimeters. Okay. Now, another one. In this question, there is a water to a height of 16 centimeter in a cylindrical glass jaw, jar of radius 12.5 centimeter. Okay. So we have a glass jar which is cylindrical in shape. And inside this cylinder we have, okay, let's first write the radius. Radius of this jar is 12.5 centimeters. Inside the water there is a sphere of diameter. 15 centimeter okay water level is up to height is 16 centimeters fine so this is what we have to take inside the water there is a sphere of diameter 15 centimeter now inside this there is a sphere now this sphere is inside the water and whose diameter is 15 so radius is equal to 7.5 centimeter 
completely immersed okay this is completely immersed by what height will water go down now the water is at the level of 16 centimeters when the sphere is into it so when you will take out the sphere to what level will water go down right that's what we have to calculate so that means we will write first we will calculate the volume of sphere volume of sphere will be equal to the volume of water rise because of that in cylinder right so what is volume of sphere we know that it is 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to volume of water in the cylinder is because because of this now this water this water level because of this is pi r square and h so this height is because of the sphere into it right so pi and pi will go we will have 4 into r is 75 upon 10 into 75 upon 10 into 75 upon 10 this 3 we can send here 3 r is 125 by 10 into 125 by 10 and this height is what we have to calculate right this is because of the volume of this so now let's simplify 25 threes are oh five ones are um, five fives are 25 five twos are five ones are five fives are five twos are five ones are five fives are five twos are two twos are four and four will go so we are left with 15 into 15 into 15 uh upon 2 equal to okay let's shift all these here these will go up tens and these will come down 3 into 125 into 125 equals to h okay so 3 fives are 15 so 5 threes are 50 5 twenty fives are 5 threes are 15, 5 twenty fives are 5 twos are 5 fives are 5 twos are 5 fives are 1 2 and 1 2 will go so we are left with 3 so h is equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 2 and in the denominator 5 into 5 so 1 5 and 1 5 will go so h is 3 threes are 9 9 twos are 18 upon 5 so which is equal to 3.6 meters so when you will take out this the water level will go down up to 3.6 meters